In this video, we're going to look at three of the measures of central tendency, which are the mean, the median, and the mode. And the data I'm using is posted in your Blackboard shell. It's the measures of centered data. And um, I'll be using this data for all of the videos for chapter three. So to find the mean in Excel, we're going to use the average function. And you can just type equals and then spell out the word average, open parenthesis, highlight all of your data, close parenthesis, and then hit enter. So this data is the commute time, how long does it take students to get to school, and the average of the data is 24.76667 minutes. To find the median, we do a very similar process. We do equals median, open parenthesis, highlight all of your data, close parenthesis, enter, and it tells us that the median is 23.5. So looking and comparing these two, because the mean is bigger than the median, that makes me think there might be an outlier that's big that is skewing the mean to be a larger number. The mean is always going to be made bigger or smaller based on where the outliers are. And so since the mean is bigger than the median, it makes me think that maybe we have some outliers down here that are really large numbers relative to the rest of the data. Now to find the mode in Excel, um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. There is an equals mode function. So equals mode, open parenthesis, highlight your data, close parenthesis, enter. But the problem with the mode function is it only ever finds one. So you need to go and look. It tells you that four is a mode. So we see that there are four fours. But you need to look through the data and see, are there any other data points that show up four times? And in this case, look, 15 shows up four times and 30 also shows up four times, and that looks like it. So we actually have three modes. We have four, we have 15, and we have 30. And if we had just relied on that equals mode function, we would have missed two of the three modes. So if you wanna do equals mode, it'll tell you how many times the mode needs to show up, but you do need to manually look to see are there other points that show up that many times because Excel does not find them. Uh, some students honestly prefer the mode to just to do it by hand without using Excel. It's entirely up to you. As long as you find all of the modes, you can do it however makes the most sense. All right, so let's go to the next tab, which is student ages. Same thing, we're going to find our three of our measures of central tendency. So to find the mean, we do equals average, parenthesis, highlight your data, close parenthesis, enter, and then to find the median equals median parenthesis, highlight your data, close parenthesis, enter. And look at this, again, we have the mean bigger than the median. And if we look at our data, we can see that 65 is a very obvious outlier and it is pulling the mean too big. It is making the mean to be too large of a number compared to the median. So we can see in this case, 65 is definitely an outlier since everything else is in the 20s and it is affecting the mean for sure. And then to find the mode, let's do equals mode just to see what Excel tells us, but we'll need to go back and check. So it tells us that 20 is a mode. 20 shows up one, two, three, four, five, six times. Let's see if any other points show up six times. See, 21 only shows up four times. 22 shows up three times. 23 shows up four times and then all those are singles. So 20 is the only mode of this data set. The equal mode function did just find finding it for us.